Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Spurkus and welcome to the Outer Worlds a game I personally and I'm pretty sure many of you have been waiting for a little while. They didn't announce it that too far long ago, so so it wasn't that much of a wait. Um yeah. Obsidian worked on this one and the original creators of Fallout and the creators of the well it's not that much arguably best Fallout game out there um, so yeah you know without talking about all that other crap that's going on with whatever Fallout 76 who cares let's talk about the other worlds and uh, let's not talk about it let's play it now that's a story mode some people like that I don't know why you would want to do that but all right if you feel like it, play it. It's not for me. Same goes for normal. No. Now, I normally go hard. But we have the supernova difficulty right here. So, now the supernova difficulty is the hardest difficulty and can only be selected at the start of the game and is recommended for advanced players. Now, the thing is, I'm a fucking hardcore motherfucker. So, like, advanced players isn't just like, you know, like, bitch level of player. So, I'm just like, you know, like the bestest in the business. I go, if I go in, I go in bigly. Anyways, the Supernova mode adds additional challenges to the game. If you reduce difficulty below Supernova, you cannot re enable it. Well, I don't care. Enemies have more health and deal more damage. Alright, I can take that. You must eat, drink, and sleep to survive. And that I like very much. Now, companions can die permanently. I'm not so sure what that means. Now, I, I understand the, the, the die permanently part, you know. I'm not sure what this can means. How can this, you know, what does can mean? Because I'm pretty sure, because we're playing on the hardest difficulty, that our companions will die a couple of times here and there during combat. So what, there's a chance to just die instantly and then never wake up again? Or is there still like a, a way to revive them or to do something to make sure that they will survive? I don't know, we'll have to see. The crippled booty parts and uh, limb conditions can only be healed while in bed rest. All right. Weapons and armor work very poorly at zero durability. Okay. You can only fast travel to your ship, so no fast travel really. I'm fine with that. They can only sleep inside your ship. I don't understand why that would be the case, but well, we'll have to see how it is within the game. And you can only manually save while inside your ship and auto saves are limited. Now that one is also a bit of a bitch. Mainly because, um, you know, well, the good thing is you cannot just go and click quick save all the time like uh, you normally do in open world um, role playing games. So. Yeah, that's always like, yeah, but so that's good. But it it is kind of still a bit shit, in the sense of um, you, you know, because I have like episodes, I make episodes, and you know, whatever. Nobody helps to have that one. It helps, for example, in Kingdom Come Deliverance, that I have that save and quit quit option, so I can every time just you know quit and then continue the next time I'm playing. So there's that. I'm gonna leave that all on. Yay! Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> It's the year 2320. So Hope is the car on the ship that where we are sleeping in in hibernation. That's Hope. And that's Little Hope. Oh yeah, that's the, the crazy doctor or professor or whatever. 
<laughs> penis, penis, Vernon Wells. He's wanted for crimes against the colony. How dare they? Not the colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left adrift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay. So I've been playing around here a little bit already, and I'm 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 pretty sure I already know what I'm gonna take, um, what kind of a play style and build we're gonna make. So modify your attributes and choose what you want to specialize in. Beware below average attributes come with a penalty. Now the thing is, you could just go ahead and just you know make like some something like this and then like this and and no penalties, but you know that's boring. Penalties are. You know. Must remember not to sneeze near you. Fun! You can do two. <laughs> that would be like a hardcore run, wouldn't it? Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, not for the first one. Muscular atrophy is practically a hobby in this colony. So, um,. I'm not going to read everything around here, what, what it does and what it does not. So what we're going to take, though, is um, we want to go over here with a good strength because I would like to go mostly for 200 melee and heavy, heavy weapons as uh, and intimidation, you know, as, um, uh, as our tactic of combat and persuasion, quote unquote. Then dexterity goes a bit lower. A pickpocket par excellence. No, we're not going to be a pickpocket par excellence. Slippery fingers. You'll need to be careful handling those chemicals. So, um, our weapon durability loss is increased. So our weapons will break faster. Quite a lot. 30% is wow. Melee weapons attack speed is lower. And ranged weapon speed is also uh, reload speed is also lower so we need to make shots count um, well that's a good thing because we're gonna make really really high damage with the, with those good things it's gonna be fine good metabolism high likelihood of digesting so tuna yes yes intelligence well an intelligent colonist I remember when we had those yeah but today is not gonna be the day you took a few blows to the brain pan for two reasons. Number one, I want to have more than more negative traits. Number two is the dumb dialogue options. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like that one. You tend to miss obvious cues, like incoming walls. <laughs> like incoming walls. Nothing gets past you. You would have made a formidable constable. So, basically, um, the mind. We're, we're we're not that intelligent, but we're we have a good perception. So we we you know, um, especially like heavy weapons. I want to go for heavy weapons and engineering. Heavy weapons, long guns, engineering. That's the one I would like to go specialize on. Charm. We're gonna leave that at zero. You could get away with all sorts of illegal activity. Yeah, because I don't want to be like a, a... You won't be quite so boring after you've saved the entire colony. <laughs> I'm boring. <laughs> Not bad. Um, no, we're going to leave that one here. Like, these are kind of good ways to... to start off like a good build around here to, to role-play already. Like, the possibilities here, just nice. You've got ice in your veins, and not just because you're frozen. You'd need a navigational computer to find your temper. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go with that one. Very high strength, low dexterity, um, low intelligence, good perception, charm, and high temperament. Now, the thing is, over here, I really don't understand that. And I also don't think that you kind of have to. It's just about a lot of numbers and things. You can level this one up. Like but I would like to... A real scientist. No. 
No, no, no. We're not really a scientist. A gunslinger. Oh, they're going to tell stories about you from here to Hephaestus. Yes. So, what I want to focus on is more like heavy weapons, maybe a bit long guns, melee, two-handed melee. Um, <clears throat> then, intimidation. Because stuff. Then over here, hack, sneak, and stealth. Nothing other than that. I don't want to do anything with it. Over here, also, only engineering. Engineering is for repairing stuff. And leadership, I'm not even sure what we're going to do with that. Now, the thing is, our our history and what the type of kind of guy we're going to play as, it's going to be, like the aptitude over here, it doesn't really do much. The bonus is almost worthless. But we're going to be an elevator operations specialist. Like these, these are all just... Made to listen to that dreadful music all day. <laughs> Um, like this is this is all just a joke around here, and I uh, love it. A proper lift goes up and down. You didn't know that, huh? And anyone who thinks otherwise is not fit to wear the badge. Being a specialist means something where you came from. A commitment to upward and downward mobility that doesn't have a price tag. Oh yes, it is. So basically, um, the type of character that we're gonna build is we are like a, a strong. Or, or, or we're like an engineer that just likes big and heavy guns. That's pretty much it. And and that's all we want. Just big metal shafts. Now, what? Anyways, about that one here. There's also a couple of things to do with the can here with the faces and all that stuff. There's like many things if we just go randomizing it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> There's sometimes some really weird stuff around here. Really, really weird stuff. Especially like sometimes like um, we have um, very interesting women. This is a male. There you go. We have a um, beautiful female. She's not even that weird except for the beard. There you go. There was another one. And that's a male. I mean, let's <laughs> just, just, you know, just do whatever you like with that character but like my, like they really like randomize if you click on randomize around here they really really randomize that's for sure <laughs> boy oh boy oh boy okay all right i guess i guess we can take this guy here i've been fooling around with him a little bit here um customize your character don't be shy yeah honestly I, I i rather be shy because i'm not sure how much we're gonna see that face around here and those randomized faces some of them yeah not so much um the name um all right so we're gonna go with uh bjorn brinstall <laughs> i don't know why just like i don't know for some reason i came up with the name bjorn for whatever reason, so he's Swedish. And Brinstal, um, I was just looking around for some some Swedish name that could work somehow with a metal technician engineer type of guy. So Brinstal means like maybe could be wrong, but like a like a um, a sharpening steel, you know, like a sharpening stone. But it's like that steel, that tool that you have um, to sharpen, you know, stuff. So um, let's go with that one. Not Brinstal, no, not Brinstal. But in style, yes. So, um, you're very good with heavy weapons. Get some good engineering. Your medical is apparently also not too bad, which I guess is fine. Hibernation suit, because of the suit we're wearing, apparently. Look at guns and all that stuff is all okay-ish, I guess. All right, let's just um, let's go with that one. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please power down your engines. Africans. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump.
initiate skip jump. It's like a Pokemon, you know. You just say it and then it works. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. <laughs> Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> It appears that in the future, everything is working out smoothly and according to the plan. And it's beautiful. Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. Can you hear me? Is ah. this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm. Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. And we crashed. Or, or no, it, it's a smooth landing, of course. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know, my back is killing me. Ooh. Ah. Alright, let's get out of this one. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that <laughs> idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away. Not stand there oh, holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. That's Hawthorne awesome. Won't... Jesus fucking. All right, so we're just like what? 15 minutes in, and most of it was the character creation, anyways. And Mind it's you taking awesome. I love it. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. All right, I already gotta say, I like the planet already. Look, look at this one. Beautiful. Then we have a moon and another planet. Close by. And there's the sun. Something over there. It actually looks like an alien planet. I mean, often, like, alien planets don't really look like... Well, alien planets, honestly. Can I punch you? I want to punch you. Punch the little ferret thing. Nothing to pick up. Nothing to pick up. So we see, I have something up here. We have F. That's probably a medkit. Space bar. 
Oh, you can also dodge. Oh, and I guess the other one is um, food, drink, and sleep because you're playing Supernova. Adreno. Hmm. Oh, Adreno is that. Okay, wait. Ah, oh, there you go. Inventory. Character. A bit darker now, it seems, but uh, I'm fine with that. I don't care. Mm -hmm. So we got the perks around here. We don't have a perk point, but... Ha 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 ha. With alone in party. Nah, alone in the world is boring. Slow in the world. My, oh my, oh my. Unlock the ability to fast travel. <laughs> That's not going to be a, a thing for us. Okay, skills. I don't know. Anyhow. Sneaking in tall grass. Not to hide from enemies, okay. Yeah, we don't have a, a weapon or something. There you go, we get weapons, we get armor. Yeah, drop down, da 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 da. Text plus five, okay. Interesting. Look at my f tubes. Whee! <laughs> Consumables? Yeah, that's fine. Modifications, stuff, stuff, and stuff. Junk. I don't have a junk yet. What? Okay. Awareness meters. You gonna see me over here? Yeah, they're gonna see me over here. No, don't. Okay. That's not good. Can I pick this up? No, I cannot. I cannot. Hmm. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Okay, so we have that, um, that's this one thing, like the red one is the health bar and the one below is that time, slowing time stuff thing. There's that. <gasps> no! I'm not going to take this one. Hey, you, come here. Hello. Hello, sir. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. I'll pitch you. No, I'm not going to pitch you up. Space is what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Hmm. You're hiding in a cave and you blocked off the exit? Dude, you're, you're as good as dead. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? I've got a bad idea. I'm gonna intimidate them, because, you know, um, we are a strong one, we can intimidate... Wait, what's this? Oh, oh nice. All right, I like that. I like it very much. In case you missed something, it's very... Simple and easy. Thank you very much for that. And we're going to intimidate them. Call them an idiot because 
It takes an idiot to know an idiot. Now give me a gun because before you get yourself killed. Yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. There you Here, go. Hope this gun <clears> serves <throat> you better than it did me. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Wait, what? You've tried the best, now try the rest? <laughs> okay, I think this guy is also an idiot. Um, isn't it, wouldn't it be like you tried the rest, now try the best? Spacer's choice. <laughs> All right, so Mr. 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 Pelham here is, is an idiot. All right, like he's super idiot. Man, I wonder how much of an idiot we're gonna be. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Sure, sure. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. All right, I need to be more careful. Um, I'm going to read this more out loud. Um, what are we going to do? I'm just like, click, clicking onto it. And, um, you know, it, it, it might turn out a bit shit. If I don't say it and then you're reading something different and then, you know, it's, it's, it, it doesn't work out in there. Let's play. You can't read my mind. Hmm. Sliced breads, stuff and stuff. That's good. It's food, people. It's food. Damn it, my ears! Oh, oh what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. My, oh my. Tactical time dilation. I love this guy already. <laughs> Moon pie. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation, the STD button slows down the world, giving you time to think. Hmm. Well, we're stupid, so we don't. We're not going to think that much. As well as take action. You have limited time in this mode. Standing will drain your meter very slowly, but moving and attacks drain it faster. It will... Profession every time. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay. There you go. Aha! I'll take that, thank you very much. Damn it. Hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you to get into places you're not meant to be. Magpicks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will be able to see how many mag picks and shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speeding up the process. Okay, I don't really care about this speeding up process. So we cannot open this one now. Now we can. Mm hmm. Hold the bank. Transfer. Transfer to where? Ah, oh, I like that. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's this. Uh, okay. You can also put something in there, too. Interesting. Is that a toilet? No, it's not. Some food here. Mac picks over here, too. Oh, wasn't smart. Okay. Can we? Yeah, we can. Holster the weapon by pressing and holding R. Good. Um, weapon management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at the time by dragging them into the slots. On this page, you can also inspect your weapon, compare them, flag them, junk them, yada, yada, yada. Take care of your T and L weapons. What's T and L? And they'll take care of your enemies. Anyways, 
Gonna put you in here, of course. What? What does that mean? Repair. Where's the good? Well, yeah, of course we can repair. You can always repair it. It's like four percent. It's not much of a condition. Anyways, now we have. Oh, that's nice. Two-handed weapon. And ah, uh, okay. Hmm. There's only four up here and nothing down here, so there must be something down here too. The weapon wheel, in case we need it. Oh, there's two Marauder Vandals. Los Vandalos. Hmm. We're not really planning on sneaking much in this game, but when we can, we might. We just, just might. Oh. What's that noise? Can I throw something at him or something? What's that noise? Well, you didn't see it, hear a noise. You see your he, he dead colleague over here. Come out! Come out! Oh, son of a... Nice. Very nice indeed, son of a... Good shit, good shit, good shit. Okay. So how is that one now? Hmm. Yeah, we really need to... S... We can name it. Oh no. Okay. Sorted by... Ah, but okay, this this S is here for sorting. Okay, whatever, I don't care. Nice. Nice indeed. Okay. I like it, I like it, I like it, like it, like it. There's a bit of stuttering going on, but that's okay. So far. And there we have it. And also the tenant Mercer and private keyball. I'm not sure if we have to kill them or talk to them. I guess we have to talk to them. And then we're gonna go to Hawthorne's ship in the next episode. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Again, I gotta say, I like this planet already. In the art style, it feels like a or it looks like an alien planet. Familiar, yet still strange. Gotta love it. See you next episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.